Hello and welcome to Dart Tutorial. In this video, you will learn about parameterized constructor in Dart. Parameterized constructor means constructor that has parameter on it. Okay. I will share my screen and let's see a complete demo of parameterized constructor. Okay. Here you can see parameterized constructor is used to initialize the instance uh, variable of a class. Okay. Parameterized constructor is the constructor that takes parameter. It is used to pass the values to the constructor at the time of object creation. It is uh, already we discuss about uh, constructor, default constructor. In parameterized constructor, we need to pass the parameter. Okay, let's declare one uh, parameterized constructor called student. Uh, and uh, let's initialize the value of name, age and roll number. Okay, just I will create a new file and call it as student dot dot. Okay, now let's create a class student. Okay, now it's time to create properties. Okay, for the properties, I'll say ID and I will say name and I will say roll number and okay and i will say a string a school name okay just i'll say school okay now it's time to create a constructor let's create a constructor i'll create a constructor in short hand so that student this dot id comma this dot name this dot roll number this dot school okay now this is fine and also write question mark here okay now let's write our main method void main and let's create a student object a student s is equal to a student and I'll, I will write ID here and I'll say name is Bimal and roll number is one school is ABC school. Okay, that is great. Okay, now let's uh, this is object. Okay, this yes is object. Okay, let's create a method, one method here to display all the things. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll say void display. And display is responsible to display. Just print ID is ID print name is dollar name print roll number is dollar roll number and print school is dollar school okay now let's use this method as dot display okay now let's run this program i'll say that student dot dot okay here you can see id is one name is bimal roll number is one school is abc school got printed okay let's see uh, what is happening here okay we have created object of a student and we have initialized the id by one name by bimal roll number by one and school by abc school and s dot display here in the student class, there is display method, which is responsible for displaying all the items. In the similar way, you can also create another student, student s2 is equal to student. And I'll say id s2, name is Raj, roll number is 134, school is abc school. And I will also say s dot s2 dot display, okay? And if I run this program, this will print this second record also. Okay. In this way, 
you can use parameterized constructor this is called parameterized constructor because here you can see there are one two three four four number of parameter okay and we are passing arguments okay in this way you can create parameterized constructor in that okay and parameterized constructor and named parameter means different things in the next section we'll learn about uh, named parameter okay now let's move forward parameterized constructor with named parameters okay named parameter and named constructor are two different things okay you need to understand this concept in the next section i will describe uh, very very detailedly about this named constructor in the in this section let's discuss about name parameter okay if you want to use name parameter here just write curly bracket okay this is named parameter okay and with after write, writing this uh, name parameter you need to write id here okay and you need to write name here you need to write roll number okay and you need to write school okay and similarly here you need to write id and name and roll number and school okay okay this uh, this parameterize you can see we have used a named parameter here this parameterize constructor with named parameter makes your code more readable and there will be less chance of error in your program okay now this program works fine for me this is the best way okay if i run this program this will print the same thing and if you want to make it more attractive just print one line here okay just write line here and this will make your code more effective okay here you can see id1 and id2 got printed in this way you can use uh, this parameterized constructor okay and let's move forward parameterized constructor with default value if you want to write a default value here you can see for school we are writing abc school abc school school is same for all student right so why do we need to write abc school here let's uh, declare it here okay this dot school is equal to abc school this means all the if you don't pass school then uh, by default uh, school will be abc school okay abc school if i remove this then this will also work okay now this is fine if i run this program here you can see abc school got printed in both okay and one more thing if i don't write id here if i don't write id for student one then this will work what is happening okay if this id is required in the name parameter okay you need to write required keyword okay i q u i r e d required okay this means this id is required okay here we need to write this curly bracket and you need to also write required where where required just write required okay required this dot roll number and okay school is not required because we have uh, read already we already wrote this abc school here okay and in this way you can use this constructor this parameterized constructor in dart i hope you understood about the parameterized constructor if you have any question regarding parameterized constructor then comment down below i will reply you and if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends i will see you in the next video thank you